begin seated, cross-legged at the top of the mat. I'm just sitting in the middle here so I can face you as we come here to our mat and settle down and just really arrive. Close your eyes and begin to feel your breath. You can put your palms on your knees or you can face your palms up. Index finger touching the crease, the first crease of your thumbs in a little chin mudra. Your tailbone is rooting into the ground as your spine is elongating up your back, kind of like you're trying to act as an antenna, connecting the earth to the heaven above. As you're sitting here, be aware of your breath. Feel how the air feels as it enters through your nostrils, down your windpipe, into your lungs. Feel your lungs expand with fresh air. And as they contract, feel the air rush out of your nostrils once again. Relax your shoulders. Relax the muscles around your face, your mouth. Relax the tongue. Sometimes we can even keep our tongue tense and stuck to the top of our mouths. Just take this time to scan your body and see where you're holding tenseness, where your muscles are automatically just grabbing onto emotions. And let your muscles know and let your body know that you are in a safe place now. You've carved out this moment, this 50 minutes, just for your own body to practice, to be here. Take a couple more deep breaths in through your nose. And as you breathe out, breathe out with a hissing noise. Kind of like you're pressing the back of your throat to compress the air. This will help you refocus yourself onto your breath. As long as you're breathing with noise, you can hear it and it'll just bring more to your senses. On an inhale, bring your hands to your heart. And I'm going to chant Om three times. You're welcome to join in with me or just listen and take it in. Om has over a hundred meanings, but one of them is welcome to the God and welcome to you, the universe, the practice. With your intention set and in mind, bow your head and prepare. Swing your legs around and come into tabletop position. We're going to be doing cat cow five times. So on an inhale, Arch your back into cow and exhale, pull your navel into your spine. Inhale and exhale. Make sure your rib cage is zipping up into itself. Inhale, full breath, open the heart. And exhale into cat. Scapula is pulling away from each other. Your shoulder blades are trying to create as much distance as possible. Inhale, come into cow again. Exhale, back into cat. Feel that stretch. Inhale, cow. Exhale, feel your core pulling into your spine. Inhale, come back into tabletop position. Wrists are under your shoulders, rotating externally. You're going to 
Inhale, lift your left arm and your right leg behind you into a straight line. Exhale, round your back, touch your elbow to your knee. Inhale, strong shoulder, strong glute, kick out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, straighten out. Exhale, use the core to squeeze your leg in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. You're also doing a slight arch. Exhale, contract with your upper back as you extend and contract. Release your arm and your leg, and inhale, bring up your right arm and your left leg this time. Exhale, contract, inhale, extend, exhale, bring it in, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee, knee to elbow, inhale, exhale, contract, use your core, and inhale. Exhale, contract, inhale. Feel the glute in the shoulder working here. Exhale, relax. Come back into tabletop position. And we're gonna do one more cow, <laughs> one more cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale around the top of your back. And from here, you can go into any dynamic movement if you wish. Circle your hips, circle your head. Feel the nooks and crannies within your body. What do you want to move today? You can just do regular cat and cow, maybe some more of the opposite leg, opposite elbow touches, or you could do nothing. On an inhale, tuck your toes and come into your first downward dog of the practice. In this first downward dog hold, feel free to, if your body is calling for it, bend each knee, stretching out your hamstrings by walking the dog, maybe moving your hips in circles, maybe rounding out your back, Again, just feel your body move in a way that feels good to you today. Keep that breath, stay aware. Don't let the movement take you away from this moment. Take a look at your hands. Make sure that they're shoulder distance apart. Use the whole surface area of your hand, including your five finger pads. Emphasize pressing the in index and thumb pads into the mat. Make sure your arms are activated. Upper arms are externally rotated. Your neck and head continue along the same line all the way up to your tailbone. Inhale, come up to your toes. Bend your knees, come back into tabletop position and into Balasana, child's pose. We're gonna take five breaths here, conscious breaths. Balasana is a very good resting pose. Feel free to, at any time, come into Balasana for a quick little rest or a long rest, a nice reset. Inhale, lift your head. Retuck the toes into downward facing dog. Look in between your fingers, inhale, and walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Come into forward fold. Pull with your chest, not your head. Inhale, arms reaching over you and hands come all the way down through center into Samastiti. Inhale, reach all the way up once again, and exhale, dive down into forward fold, deep forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift up. And exhale, plant the hands into the floor and bring your right leg back and down. Untuck your right toe and swing your arms up into low lunge. You can reach your hands up to the sky or bring all of your hands together except your index fingers and point all the way up. Make sure your left hip is pulling back as you feel a stretch in your hip flexor on the right leg. Core is tight. Inhale, lean over into the left. Make sure you're keeping your hips squared. And exhale, bring your hands back down to frame your left leg. Inhale, step back into plank. And exhale, lower the knees and lower the heart. Untuck the toes. Inhale, come into a baby cobra. Hold here for a few breaths. And exhale, come either into tabletop position again or straight into downward dog. Take a breath here. Inhale, swing the right leg up into three-legged dog and exhale, send the foot between the hands. Lower your left knee, untuck your left toes. Square your hips, right hip is pulling back, left hip pushing forward. Engage your core like your belly button is trying to pull all the way to your spine, rib cage zips closed at the bottom. On an inhale, lean over to the right side to feel a stretch all the way along the left side body. Breathe here. On an inhale, come back up. And exhale, lower the hands to frame the right foot. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees touch the floor, chest releases, untuck the toes. Inhale, come up into a bigger cobra this time. And exhale, either into tabletop or straight into downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale, left leg comes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, step your right foot to meet the left. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root down through your feet to rise all the way up. Hands come through center and sit by your hips. Inhale, reach up, exhale, dive down into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step your right foot back again into a low lunge, untuck your right foot. Inhale, arms reaching up above you. And exhale, cactus the arms coming into a slight back bend. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower the hands. Inhale, step back into plank. Exhale as you lower the knees, untuck the toes, and lower the chest with the hips still poking up. Inhale, up into baby cobra, full cobra, or upward facing dog, whatever you feel like doing today. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes into three-legged dog. And exhale, use the core to bring the foot in between your hands and lower the knee. Inhale, arms above your head, cactus with a slight back bend, open the heart. And exhale, hands come back around the right foot. Inhale, step the right back into plank. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest. Inhale, push up into upward facing dog, cobra, baby cobra. And exhale, tabletop position or straight into downward facing dog. <laughs> Inhale, left leg comes up, three legged dog. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands. 
Inhale, right leg steps up to meet your left. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, root down to rise up. And exhale, hands through the center and down by your hips. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, down into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, right leg steps back into a low lunge again. Untuck the back toe and inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Hands come back down by your left feet, foot. Inhale, step back into plank. Exhale, you can chaturanga down if you want or take the same variations as we've been doing earlier. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, tabletop position and then downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up again, three-legged dog. Exhale, steps the foot through. Lower the back knee, untuck the left toe. Scissor the hips as you inhale up. And exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Bring your hands all the way to your right foot. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees down or chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, curl the toes under and meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, use the core to step your left foot in between your hands. Inhale, right leg steps next to your left. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, root down to rise up. And exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, bend your knees and sweep your arms up into chair pose. We're going to prepare for Sun Salutation B with a couple chair poses. So on an exhale, release and come back into standing. Inhale, sweep the arms up again into chair pose. Hold here. Stay in chair pose. Breathe. Feel the breath. Inhale, come to standing and exhale, hands through the heart and by your side. Inhale, sweep the arms up into chair pose again. Look down at your knees, make sure your knees aren't past your toes. Instead, you're pulling your butt backwards. And here I was just showing you a couple different heights for chair pose that you could take. If you can't go deep, then go midway. If you can't go midway, go a little higher. Inhale, stand right back up and exhale, hands pass through your heart again. Inhale, sweep the arms up into chair pose once more and hold here for three breaths, filling the lungs and exhaling. Inhale, straighten the legs again, come back up into standing, hands draw through the heart and back by your side. Inhale, sweep the arms back up, coming into chair pose, tailbone is tucked under, core is tight. Hold here. And release, come back up. Last chair pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up, strong shoulders. Exhale, lower the hands by your feet, coming into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift up, straight back. Exhale, plant the feet and jump or step into plank and then chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open up the heart. And exhale, use the core to push your hips back into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up into three-legged dog and exhale, draw the foot between the hands. 
Inhale, come up, crescent pose, and exhale, lower the hands again. Inhale, step the foot back, and exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, inhale right leg raises into three-legged dog, and exhale, step the hands, step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, come up into crescent lunge, core tight, and exhale, step back into downward facing dog. We're gonna be doing these step throughs quite a number of times. We're warming up our legs so we can be ready for our hip openers. So following this flow, you're going to come up into crescent lunge three more times. So go at your own pace. Remember to keep your core tight and um, <laughs> coordinate your breath with your movement. Forgot what I was gonna say there. So each movement has a breath, each breath has a movement. Stay in that mind space as you're moving. You can feel free to tune into the music. I always upload a, or I leave a link in the description of a good mix to play in the background or dance to the music of your breath. So as you descend from your last crescent lunge on your right leg, step into plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale into upward facing dog, and exhale come all the way into downward facing dog. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side. Coordinate breath with movement as you inhale, your left leg comes up into a three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps through. Inhale, rise up into crescent. And exhale, hands come down, lower the foot and into downward facing dog. So that was one. We're gonna do four more crescent lunges, go at your own pace, make sure to keep your core tight, arms tight. As you come up into crescent lunge, make sure that your back knee is, the back of your back knee is pressing up to the sky so you're activating all areas of your legs. So go ahead, flow, enjoy, and smile. Remember to take rest whenever you need it and take any modifications you want to do. This is your practice, it's your space. So after that last crescent lunge, exhale into chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, and exhale downward facing dog. Center yourself here, ground. Walk your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, full forward fold, pulling with the chest. Bend at the knees on an inhale, come up into chair, and exhale as you come back into standing. Inhale, bend at the knees, come to chair position. Exhale, hands at your feet, forward fold. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, plant the feet, plant the hands, I mean, and jump back into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, use the hips to push up into downward facing dog. You can come into warrior one any way that you are comfortable with, but I like to angle my left foot out slightly first. 
before I bring my right foot up in between my two hands and step into warrior one, but it's your choice. So on an inhale, right leg steps forward, coming into a warrior one. Keep your hips and chest square to the front. So you wanna pull your right hip back and your left hip forward as you rise up. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, square the hips, come into warrior one on the left. Exhale, come into a plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Make sure your biceps are turning toward your ears. Core's tucked in, thighs are active. Inhale, come up onto your toes and exhale, jump or step through to the top of your mat. Forward fold and inhale, chair. Exhale, come back into standing. Shift your weight into your left leg as you raise your right foot and your right knee up into tree pose. So you start at the bottom. Set the bottom of your right foot on your ankle. If you can go higher, your calf. And if you can stay higher, if you can go higher, go ahead and put the foot onto the inside of your inner thigh. Foot is pushing in as your left thigh is pushing out to your foot. You can keep your hands at your chest or bring your hands out to shoulder length maybe or all the way up, gaze following if you can challenge your balance here. Make sure to keep the hips level and emphasize your hip, your right hip opening. We're going to stay here for a couple more breaths. And on an exhale, release slowly. Lower your foot down onto the floor. And we're going to go into tree pose on the left leg this time. So you can either keep your foot on your calf like I'm showing you here, or you can put it up on the inside of your thigh. Make sure you avoid pushing your foot out, so resting it on the inside of your knee. Let's try not to do that. Let's keep our ligaments safe. Hips are level. Focus on rotating that left hip out energetically. So maybe you don't see yourself pushing the hip out or pushing the left thigh out, but you can feel the force on the inside of your body consciously like trying to push it out. And that's what I mean by energetically. Feel the energy there and just balance. Make sure the core is sucked in tight. Having a strong core is a really big basis for yoga, especially in balancing poses. Now on an exhale, how slow can you lower your foot to the ground? Take your time here as you lower. Prepare for Virabhadrasana 2 or Warrior 2 stance as you widen your legs. Right foot is facing outwards toward the front of your mat and left foot is parallel to the bottom of your mat. Make sure your tailbone is scooped underneath. Core is active, shoulders are strong. Create space between your shoulders and your ears. And make sure that you're externally rotating, so pushing that right leg outward. Left leg is strong, and we're just gonna hold here. And now we're going to shift into modified side angle or regular side angle, if that's what you're feeling like doing today. In modified, you're keeping your right elbow on top of your right thigh, extending from the toes of your left leg to your right, uh, to your left fingertips. If you wanna go all the way down, go ahead and place your right arm 
right next to your foot, either on the inside or the outside. Breathe here. Relax your face. And now on an inhale, take a step forward with your left foot and straighten your right foot out. Keep the feet where they are and the hips and lower into triangle pose. Now here in triangle pose, you can rest your fingertips on the floor like I'm doing here. You can hold your toe. If you're not quite there yet, go ahead and rest your hand on your shin your, or your thigh. Make sure your left hip is energetically pushing outwards toward the sky. So we're not trying to push your right butt cheek out, but more like pull your right butt cheek in. And make sure you're breathing. On an inhale, use the core, rise up, straighten the feet. Bring your hands to the back of your hips. Open your heart and exhale lower with a straight back all the way down into wide-legged forward fold. Make sure you're pulling with your chest tailbone to the sky. Activate your inner thighs by energetically pulling your feet together as they're on the mat. On an inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands on the hips. And inhale, come all the way back up. Now turn your left foot out, preparing for warrior two on the left side. Make sure your left knee is tracking over to your left baby toe, pushing outwards. Strong shoulders, tuck the tailbone in and hold here, keeping a strong core. Gaze is over the left fingertips. I find that holding these simple but longer poses definitely helps with my strength in yoga and focus actually. Come into modified triangle on your left. Knee can be, or ankle, elbow, ankle. Your elbow can be on your left knee or you can go all the way into side angle, extended side angle. Gaze up your arm, if you can, to your fingertips. And hold, check in with your breath here. It's in those hard poses, those difficult ones, that we tend to forget about our breath. But when you tune into your breath, and focus, everything seems a little bit easier. Straighten the left leg and come into Trikonasana on the left side. Remember to energetically pull the right hip out as you prepare, as you um, try to create a straight line, straight plane with your hands so nothing's poking out and nothing is going inward. Tune into your breath. We're gonna hold here for a couple more. Enjoy the stretch on the right side body. Use your core, come back up into standing and you can heel toe your feet back together. Inhale, raise your right knee and wrap your right foot, right leg around your left leg as we prepare for eagle. So right over left and then right arm under left as you wrap your arms around into eagle arms. Now if this isn't happening for you today, you can raise your right knee and bring your right ankle above your left knee for another hip opening type of balancing stretch. And now there's something for everyone here, so go ahead and take whichever posture is best for you today. Maybe you can do eagle, but Today, you just want to do the modified version. Go for it.
We're going to stay here for a minute on each side. It's already been almost a minute on this side, so we're going to switch and come into Eagle or the hip opener on the left. At this time of the practice is when we really start to stretch and slow down, but we're still even more in tune with our breathing. So again, you could either take this hip opening stretch or eagle. So you're gonna wrap your left foot over your right, left, hand, left arm under your right arm. Inhale and release, come back into standing. On an inhale, reach up, exhale, dive down into forward fold. Inhale, look up, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, jump or step the feet back into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. Breathe, check in with your breath, and reset. Check in with your core. Is your core tight? Are your biceps spiraling toward your ears? Is the weight distributing evenly into your knuckles and your fingertips? You could turn your head here from side to side for a little neck activation awakening. And whenever you're ready, come back into child's pose. Stay here for three to five more breaths, depending on how slow or how fast you want your breath to be. Just feel the ah uh, in your child's pose. Feel gratitude. Inhale, rise all the way up, sitting on your feet, and you can turn on your hips or however you want, but come into Dandasana. Dandasana. Seated staff pose. Now in Dandasana, it's, it's a very activated form of sitting up straight. So core is pulled in, shoulders pulling back and down. Thighs are active to keep your legs straight. Feet are flexed. Chin toward the chest. Almost like you're holding something right underneath your chest. And you're breathing. Don't forget to breathe. On an inhale, you're going to take your right foot and cross it over your left and come into a twist on your left side. And you can either use your elbow to push you out or you can use your arm, your left arm, to twist you toward the right. Wherever you are in your twist, with every inhale, lengthen the spine and the crown of the head to the sky. And on your exhale, twist a little bit more towards your right. Breathe here. Gently release and switch left foot on the outside of your right knee. And use your left hand behind your to stabilize you 
Inhale, reach up with your right arm and exhale, come into the twist. You can keep your arm bent if you want or straighten it out. Gaze over your left shoulder if possible, if that feels good to you today. And gently release. Now, I like to raise my seat so I can re-neutralize, I guess, the distribution of my flesh from my sit bones before I go into a forward fold. So I like to just put my hands right next to my hips and raise my hips a little bit using my core. Let all that release, relax, and neutralize the position so I can fold forward with nothing uh, interfering. Or, you know, you could just go into a forward fold. So reach for your toes on an inhale, lengthen the neck, lengthen the back, one straight line, and exhale, pull yourself forward, bending at the elbows, come into a forward fold. So lean with your core and your chest first. And as soon as you've gotten to your limit, then release. But make sure you keep whatever you had straight, straight. We're going to hold this for 20 more seconds. Ease into this posture. Breathe. Check in with your body. Check in with the muscles in your forehead, in between your eyebrows. Relax. Inhale. Come up and exhale. Release. Come onto your back any way you want. And we're going to come into plow or halasana. If halasana is not happening for you today, you can't quite get your feet onto the floor, then you can put your feet, like rest them on a wall. And if your feet aren't touching the floor behind you, make sure you keep your hands at the, your lower back. You can also put your feet on a chair or a block. Hands can be by your side, on your back. Again, if your toes are touching the floor, please have your hands back behind you, laying on the floor. Fingers clasped. Now release your legs and drop your knees next to your ears, almost by your shoulders, into Karnapindasana. Make sure there is no tension, no weight, no compression in the neck. If it is, go ahead and release into laying down. Now as slowly as possible, straighten your legs and roll back onto the floor into uh, Shavasana or laying down. But try to be slow. Now we're gonna go into the counter pose, which is a modified fish pose. Again, take it easy on the neck and explore the tension of your head back and down. Feel the opening of your heart One last exhale and release slowly into your final resting position, Shavasana. Feel the effects of your practice. Legs lie flat, arms are flat, hands by your side. Try to bring your arms out far enough so your armpit isn't touching anything. So feel like sticky sensation where your armpit is. So you don't feel any sensation. Area. Palms facing upward, eyes are closed.
relax the face and the tension you might have still in your shoulders and your neck. Maybe it's in between your furrowed eyebrows, if your eyebrows are furrowed. Maybe it's in your glutes, maybe it's in your hips. Take this time to explore this body, this beautiful, magical vessel, and remind it that this is a resting time and it can just relax. Bring consciousness to parts of your body that you don't really pay attention to on a daily basis, like the back of your knees. When's the last time you've given, given it some love? Or maybe your earlobes. Bring energy to those places as you softly breathe, coming back to your natural, nat <laughs> natural resting breath. and enjoy. Start to deepen your breath here. Wake up your body by gently moving your fingers and your toes, maybe rolling your wrists and your ankles, maybe taking a deep stretch, a full body stretch with your arms above your head like you just woke up. Bend your right or bend your left knee and push your body over coming into a laying down position on the right side. And now use your arms to bring you back up into cross-legged position, still with your eyes closed. Rest your hands above your knees, maybe coming back into that chin mudra. Feel your sit bones attached to the earth or the floor that's connected to the earth somehow. And feel your breath and the blessings that you have. Inhale, bring your hands together in front of you and rub them, create energy, heat. On another inhale, bring your hands over your face, let them hover, feel that energy, the heat you just created, and now spread it over your head, down your back, on your arms, your knees, your legs, and back up. Inhale, bring your hands together and create more energy by rubbing your palms again. And on an inhale, bring your hands to hover over your face once more. And exhale, slowly draw your hands thumbs meet and rest on your third eye so that we may see and think kind thoughts over your mouth, your lips, so you may speak words of kindness and compassion and right over your heart so we may have kind, loving intentions throughout our day.
the divine in me sees and honors and appreciates the divine in you. Thank you for joining me in this practice. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.